Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time we talked to Nerissa while we were still at the Pudding and Pie, the strip club of Fable Town. And she made mention that Lily, uh, the troll that was glamoured as Snow White, um, used to work there as well and she couldn't really say anything as her lips were sealed. Discretion is guaranteed. But what she basically did was, ha like, really heavily say, like, you should make an appointment with me, which we agreed to, and she gave us a key to the Open Arms Hotel, which is literally right down the street. We went there and saw that Beauty, uh, from Beauty and the Beast, actually works there as a, a, a desk clerk. I, I doubt rece receptionist sounds too good a title for that position. Uh, a desk clerk, basically, making sure that people go to the right room, all that shit. And we let her know that Lily was most likely murdered in room 207, which is the number we got from Georgie's uh, little red book. Um, as we were about to go in the room, Beast comes out of nowhere. Not exactly sure how he knew where we were. How we... Not exactly sure how he knew we were there or what he was even doing there. He thought that we were about to have sex with Beauty. We had a little fight, broke through the door of room 207 um, and found quite a horrific scene. Uh, blood all over the bed, uh, lilacs all thrown about, and we found evidence of it being a stage kind of set up as like in the Snow White stories. We found an envelope that contained pictures of snow and us with snow from like months prior as uh, Bigby was saying and the final nail in the proverbial coffin was a picture of Crane um, basically molesting the body of Snow White I, presumably while she was still alive well Lily presumably while she was still alive and that closed off the chapter of Smoke and Mirrors and now we are on chapter 3 or episode three, A Crooked Mile. So let's start her off. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. Yeah, it's still one of the best twists in this game. careful. I almost lost you once, and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god. What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Yeah, I'm not sure why I gave you a, a recap, but we literally just had a recap. Motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Not now. I have a right to know. If my wife is... Honey... Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane has been stalking Snow White. The room is covered in evidence. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? 
Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Yeah, she's got a valid point. And here's the other thing. As perverted as Crane seems, I don't know if he has anything to do with her death. I mean, it's extremely sus that he didn't say anything about her, about Meteor, but then he wouldn't. Nobody would. Especially considering he's a politician. I am honored to be asked to speak to you. It's a tradition that everyone speak. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then... You were part of a very special circle. Okay, I'm not going to interrupt. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory I'll of Lily will sustain you. as well. I'll miss worrying about you. I'll miss our fights. And it will I'll miss time, you. Equal Holy. in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about... Now you will never die from so indifference to share or lead a tedious your life. Memories of her. Goodbye, sweetheart. How she could be Thanks stubborn and patient. Vivian. Rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways. For tradition, for... You were a big, bright, pageantry. shining star in most this of all, shithole of it a seems town. How and I miss you already. Loved Clearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Well, I can't you. back out. It's going to be like maybe I can meet her at the back of the bridge or something. Or like at the entrance to the bridge, like where we came from. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve what? to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything about oh, it. Oh, that is cold. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Bigby gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat. Far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Okay. Of course. Won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? 
This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. This better be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane uh... would be the next step. And if we get this wrong... It would mean more I'm not going to show jobs. her the photo. We'd get kicked out of Fable Town for messing all of this up so badly. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Marissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. It's just that something's come up. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel, did you find anything? No? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, uh... Coming! Man, everything is so fucked up. Constable. Wait, oh, wait, wait, easy now, girl. fuck's sake. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Just sit in your office and whistle to heaven for a few short days. Don't do this here. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Fine. Alright, it's Brother. a deal. Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I said, all right already. Just go. And go we shall as men of our word. We won't ruin any more of the wedding or whatever. Ah! For fuck's sake. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. 
Polly, don't move. Look, it's not worth it. Worth it, Holly. It's so not worth it. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you. Don't tell me she's fucking dead. It's fucking... It, 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 she'll be fine. If the woodsman could take an axe to the fucking head, Holly could take some fucking buckshot. She's fine. She better be fucking fine. I love this game, and I, I like I mentioned I played it before. I there are some parts I don't remember. Trouble really does find us, eh? Even at a fucking funeral, we just can't. We just can't take like five minutes. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. Are you... okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. <sighs> it's and, uh, really... eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. Yeah. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. And what do you say about chicken? Lowers blood pressure? Really? Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. Any other leads? No other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just. I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? No. Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. 
I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of <laughs> enjoy it when things go wrong. Oh, Snow. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? We're missing I a piece. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I That's saw smart. Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. Valid point. I know Never that mind that. Come help me look. Okay, Snow. I know you're pissed, but relax. Uh, you alright, Buffkin? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blammers from. Hmm. Thanks, Popkin. Look. You see anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. It's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'm not gonna say why didn't he stop it. How was he supposed to know, right? Well, I guess he was watching from the... You why know, didn't you try awesome. and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Yeah, like, what is that phase gonna do? Alright. Before I talk to Snow, let's just take a look around. Why are you going all the way around? Oh. May let's talk to Snow, I guess, first. Because it seems like it's pretty comprehensive stuff. Buffkin says that he overheard Crane call somebody before he left. Sounds like he's going to see a witch, or his witch. His glamour witch. Wait, really? None of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing. They must be somewhere in the city. It's something, at least. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. Okay, now we'll look at his desk. Well, there's a room 207 key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. Why would he just leave it like around? What was in there? I want to know. I need to know. 
Crane was, uh, paying Lily to live out a fantasy of him and you together. Forgive me if I spare you the details. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Snow, you, you couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. Ichabod Crane, are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit, I could see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best Wayland Smith. Wayland Smithers? Ah, uh, yeah. I gather you, sir. Mr. Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means. Didn't Pinocchio become a real boy in the end? Uh, but I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone on my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as as it is, and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention, you already promised you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass in the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toad. Did you Crane tell him, Toad. ever do any work? Seriously. Only when Cole was around. Then how did nobody complain to Cole? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, This isn't but... your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch Oh, Buffkin. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. 
Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. No, he doesn't. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address, or a phone number, or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. If Holly has Lily's things... That'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Uh, so we have a decision to make, I guess. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. So we have a decision. Dee's office, Crane's apartment, or Holly's bar. Alright, let's let's think about this. Crane's apartment to me is kind of pointless. Um first off, I don't think he did it. Um well, again, I know the answer. I'm getting the meta out of my mind. I'm going with what I would feel at this moment. I don't think he did it. Um, and I don't think he's up there anyway. There, there's no way. If he knows that we're trying to look for him, he's not going to snatch a piece of the mirror and then hide out in his fucking apartment. Um, and if he didn't do it, I don't think there's going to be anything in his apartment that would lead us anywhere. I mean, it's... I, I I doubt he'd be connected with any of the killers. I mean, I don't know, but I doubt it. The Tweedles office. Um, chances are, yeah, they're not going to be there either. They're not going to go back to their office as uh, as um, Snow suggested. We may be able to find some evidence of what's going on, especially potentially who their employer is which we still don't know. Um, but I don't know if they'd know anything about the witch, which is our primary focus right now. 
they may know because I mean these guys obviously deal with like uh you know under like what is it called like the underbelly of society like they they deal with I'm sure they know like the black market shit you know they they deal with like criminals and shit like that but that said with Holly I mean if they hadn't burned Lily's stuff yet there might be something there but then again, Holly wouldn't necessarily know either. You know what? I think the Tweedles place would be the best place to go. I think I think they would actually be the best bet. Looking at like all the different scenarios. Um Again, Holly might have something of Lily's that would lead us somewhere, but the odds are fairly slim. Having said that, anywhere we go, it's going to lead us somewhere. I, I know that. It's not going to be like, oh, game over, you fucked up. It's not going to do that. I'm just thinking what's the best course of action and in terms of like trying to do shit. I think the Tweedles might be the best place to go. Dean Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. Okay. And I'm actually going to call it there because this episode has gone on a lot longer than I, than I wanted it to. Um... <sighs> Shit just keeps getting more and more fucked up, eh? Especially with all this funeral stuff. Uh, and the Tweedles showing up there. That was really... That was really bad. Uh, but hopefully Holly can forgive us. And as for Gren, I don't know. Fuck him, I guess. He's always giving us attitude and... You know, not helping us out and whatever. In any kind of capacity. But Holly, I do legitimately feel bad. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Thank you, Souls. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.